Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now, there's only one national memorial named for somebody who fought against the U.S. government. That's this building right here, the Robert E. Lee Memorial at Arlington National Cemetery. Now, it's not a tribute to the Confederacy writ large, rather it's a tribute to the individual man himself and his efforts at reunification following the Civil War. For example, in October 1865, uh, he officially pledged allegiance to the U.S. only six months after his April 1865 surrender to General Ulysses S. Grant, which officially ended the war in the first place. In 1975, Congress even voted to posthumously restore Lee's citizenship, with then-President Gerald Ford signing it into law. But since 2020, with the murder of George Floyd and subsequent national protests over racial justice issues, there has been a reckoning over naming things after Confederate figures. For example, in 2020, Congress voted to rename all military bases that were originally named after Confederate figures, uh, overriding then-President Donald Trump's veto. Well, now some in Congress also want to rename the Robert E. Lee Memorial to the Arlington House National Historic Site. Uh, it was officially introduced in the House of Representatives by Virginia Democratic Representative Don Beyer, and in the Senate by Virginia Democratic Senator Tim Kaine. Now, supporters argue that there's a very good reason only one national memorial is named for an insurrectionist, and it would be better if that number was zero. But opponents counter that there are ways to make racial amends without going to such a drastic step as entirely renaming a such a long-standing institution. Uh, for example, last year, the Board of Trustees at Washington and Lee University, named for George Washington and Robert E. Lee, this building's namesake, voted 22 to 6 to keep their college's name. They simultaneously also announced other changes like renaming the on-campus Lee Chapel to University Chapel and uh, discontinuing an annual on-campus celebration for Lee's birthday. Well, only time will tell whether the congressional proposal to rename this building will happen quick, Lee, 